Linux Steam, Linux Steam, thank you Valve, you're so keen for opening it up to everybody. You heard me right. Originally, the Steam for Linux beta client was only available to about a thousand people. It was very closed. While all that has changed just recently, I mean really recently, they decided to let everybody have a piece of the pie, and I'm going to teach you how to install the beta client right now. Brought to you by Shutterstock. Firstly, it's good to know if your Linux box can handle running Steam. Generally speaking, you need a Pentium 4 with at least half a gig of RAM and 5 gigs of space for your hard drive, but obviously you'll want to run the games too. You can find a link to more requirements in the description. Regardless of what kind of graphics card you have, it's uber important to have your drivers up to date. Since I have an Nvidia card and Ubuntu, I do this by heading over to the Software Sources section then to additional drivers. If you have a Series 8 card or better, you'll want to install the 310 driver, or if you have an older card, 304. The driver install is very similar with AMD cards as well, and not so much with Intel. As you can see, Valve was catering to 12.04 with the Steam Beta, but I'm installing it on the most recent version of Ubuntu at the time, which is 12.10. You'll start by getting the deb package on the Steam website, which is fairly small, and then find the file and open it. When you double click it in Ubuntu, it'll pop up in the software center, which is nice and convenient. You can also install Steam through the command line, but we're going the easy route this time, because why not? Once the software center has started, you'll go through a license agreement or two, and then before you know it, there's a nice shiny button that says, Start Steam Beta. After a bit of clicking and waiting, you'll see the login prompt for your very own Steam client on Linux. Yay! Now I'm using another account to show you this, but if you've used Steam before, you'll know that it's identical looking to that of the Windows application, except this allows you to download games from the Linux section of Steam, which is what we're all excited for. Congratulations, now you can consider yourself one of the early adopters of running Steam on Linux, which could not be more cool in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of the beta, and also update that GitHub if you find any bugs at all to keep making our community great. This is just an awesome experience. Thanks for watching OS Alt, and be sure to subscribe that button down there so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source. I live in San Francisco now and there's no real winter here, so I find myself pathetically missing it and looking up videos and photos of blizzards. Why? I'm a very special snowflake. Shutterstock.com has awesome stock pictures, vectors, video clips, and snowflake photos. You can sign up for image packs, monthly subscriptions, or just snag one of your favorites. They even offer enhanced license access in case you want to wallpaper your room with printouts of winter. Curate your own galleries, search through featured light boxes, you find an image you like, download it at any size for one price, no nickel and diming for high res stuff. Head to Shutterstock.com or install their iPad app to get started, and there's no credit card needed. When you find the images you want, use the offer code OS12 to get 30% off any package. I think that's a pretty good gift for this year.